the Komodo dragons have taken over. I'd love to be out there. Unfortunately, we've got a fuel problem with the boat. Oh, GT! Yes! Oh my god! They're behind you! Oh my god! Oh. I'd love to be out there. Unfortunately, we've got a fuel problem with the boat. We don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if it's mechanical or if it's the actual fuel, but we're trying to get to the bottom of it. In the meantime, I can't have the other four crew sitting around the camp while I deal with this problem. So the boat runs well enough that I can get it over to that point in the distance. So just around the boys over and I've just dropped them off on that point where we were yesterday, smashing it up. I've had to come back to camp to get it because this is where we get phone signals. So I've got to do all my calls and try and figure out what's going on with my boat. And the Komodo dragons have taken over. I don't know if they're, well, they're not Komodos, but they're bloody close related. Check these things out. Bloody everywhere, the bastards. And I don't want to get bitten by one. So there's one in the sun. How are you, buddy? How are you? Well, he's as scared as me as I am of him. The one here. It's good that they're scared of me because I'm, I'm actually scared of them. But when I go back to the camp, there's about five of them just walking around our rods and there's one over there. There's two of them. So has oh shit, there's another one in the bush there. They're not afraid to come in the camp, but they only come out on the sunny days. Anyway, that's just enough of what's happening around here. A few moments ago, I had a phone call and the boys were very, very excited on the rock. Let's go and see what happened, just happened. Check this shit out. I've gone the big gear. The big dog gear. You've done that already. The big dog gear. Needs a few casts to get with braid. He's off. There he is, there he is. Good That's GT. it. Get him up, get him up, get him up, get him up. Yes, Age. Oh, what is going on today? Oh. First cast with the big dog. Yes! Get him, get him, Dave. Oh. Yes! Oh my oh, god! Like the big dog. <laughs> oh. Yes! That's a fucking cracker, GT! <laughs> First cast with a big dog. Oh man. And I got ambush and I stopped my lure. I go, oh my god, oh! And then he went, boom! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Oh, Dave. <laughs> no. Look at that! Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's a big fish. Fuck yeah. That's like 15 kilos. That is 15. Am I put my left right? Okay. Hey. <laughs> nice man. Alright, let's um go in the water with it. Go down. Oh wherever. You need to be on that side. He took off like a rocket. 
He didn't want to hang around. I, I couldn't even see where he went, so I hope I got He seemed off. <laughs> Woo! Pump and wine, pump and wine. Just don't don't stop pumping and whining. You gotta keep him off the bottom. Are you are you lock dragged? I think this is a GT. Yeah. I might have to help him here. You've got good ground here, which is good. So I wanna... You need a glove on, Adrian. Oh, yeah. You do that. It's on. We need to watch him, watch him, watch him. Watch the line. You filming this? Yeah, I'm filming. We need to film Tom as well. Keep, keep pumping and winding, Tom. Don't let him, don't let him beat ya. It's a Trevi dog, it's a, it's a GT! GT! Or is it a Queenie? It's a Queenie, innit? Neither. That's a... It's a Queenie. Still underwater. Oh, he still hooked it. Still underwater. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Tom. <laughs> Back in the head. That's why he caught so good. Cause um <laughs> yeah. Queen! Queenie! Uh, uh, Put him out for a live bait like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Sharp. Why why not? I got pliers for you. Oh no no don't don't put your hands near it. Wait, 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 wait. Did you want a photo with that? That's all right. Ready? Yeah. Yee -hee -hee. Well done. Nice. So yesterday, the GTs came on again in the afternoon when the tide turned, which is happening now. And, um... I'm gonna get back there for that, but I just seen the tuna busting again and I thought I might might take advantage of that while I'm keeping the motor in perfect running order. Mechanically, it's fine. There's something silly going on pertaining to fuel that we can't work out. Oh, look at them. All right, so I'm gonna put the slug into them again. See them busting? Pushing the bait against the rocks. How about this? Wow. So close. Here we go. Just gonna put it in there, into the sun. Not gonna see much. Shit. Never get that through without getting hit. That's impossible. Come on, come up. There they are. Oh, what? Oh, I tangled it. What are the chances? I had the sideways on the hooks. Yeah, 
Is that where they were? He didn't cast. I'm on! Wing is on! That's dinner! Don't lose it! Oh, thanks! <laughs> Come on! You! Yeah. This will be the hardest fighting trainer in history now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Metal slug! Yeah. They went nuts, that's crazy. Tom Yolo might have worked. Oh, that, they were in range then. Yeah. I don't think Kieran got into it. He cast it to the right. If he cast it straight, he would have got it. The Mac tuna. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That's dinner. We've eaten like kings, and this is just another awesome species from our trip. I couldn't get on the rock today because I've got to look after the boat. We actually saw much bigger ones jumping. But have a look at him. He's the colors on for it. How I'm gonna bleed you, champ. Sorry, enjoy our dinner. You awesome creature. Yes.
It means a lot to me, that little tuna. I dreamed about coming up with Sundays for a long time. We've had a lot of hurdles to jump over, including broken suspensions, some sort of fuel issue with the boat. We can't go offshore because of the weather and the boat. We basically stuck to a harbour. We just stuck to what we know. We're just grinding it out on this point. We can't leave the boat anywhere near here, so I have to stay in the boat all day because I'm the skipper and I want these boys to have a trip of a lifetime. But I got my own little little reward there. Can you tell the guys? Hey, can you tell them? I don't have any pliers. That's it. You're on fire. You got to get your biggest pole? Yep. I don't have pliers, is the only thing. I didn't bring them with me. Woo! Uh -oh. Pretty similar. And we got beautiful and shiny now. Oh, and they just ambushed, don't they? I know. I had, um, had one hit, like five casts ago, and I thought, oh, I'll keep going. He yep. just smashed it. <laughs> Scratches on his back. Yeah. Probably from rushing up against the rocks, yeah, ambushing it. bait. Look at that mouth. Big mouth. Yep. Do you, do you want to release him? Or? Oh, you can spear him. Okay. Yeah. Tommy's, Tommy's on. What have we got here? Go. Almost an hour past the tide change. What do we got? Oh. Thanks for helping me a lot. Okay, okay. Nice. There's the window he's picking this up. Six, is it? Ufish TV is proudly brought to you by fighttackle.com.au, Total Solar Solutions, Melbourne Marine Centre, Shimano Fishing Australia, Mercury Marine, Gamma Katsu Hooks by Frogleys Offshore, Menace Marine, ICOM, Tonic Uranium Eyewear and Immersion Apparel.